YouTube fans, this is Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play at Paper Mario. We just fi figured out the dude's name and just told him, and now he's off, s off somewhere. Here, probably back to his castle. You struck first. You struck first. Wow. Just try and charge up. You're done next turn. Whack! Pipe we go. Ah, oh, man. Got to get rid of that flower thing. Crazy Daisy. Okay, don't know why you used it on yourself. Whack! Here we go. 
Gotcha. What? What? There we go. All right then. I'll tend to get through here. Ah, man. Take these, you crazy daisies. There you go. Da 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 Three star points. Woo! There we go. There we go. Ah, man. That was weird. Sweetness.
I guess I'm gonna have to move it over here and then. Oh man. Alright then. Time to face my other self. Let's do this, Vivian. There we go. Hey, you again, eh, Slick? You've been pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine. I see. I get it. Let's just put an end to this, shall we? All right, kids. Put up your fighting gloves. Uh, Woohoo! It's-a me! Sure thing, Mario. We're right we're there with you. This creek couldn't take us on his own, so he teamed up with a Shadow Siren. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You gonna take the Pain Gonzalez style, Shadow Guy? Very good, my loyal ones. Now, how dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? Mario? This guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario. Yeah, actually. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario, I feel like an idiot. What's going on there, huh? You fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, schoolies. Yuck, 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 yuck. See, your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me, Super Mario. Yeah, I don't need charisma to beat you, pal. Whack! Ah! Whack! Gotcha! Ah, man. I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. Oh! I've, I've made my choice, and I'm not turning back. Now you're in for it. Now, big. All right. Time for a shadow fist. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Gotcha. Whack! There we go, and Shadow Fist, Shape Fist. How dare you try to do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you! Now you're done for, man. Whack! No, why? How? Eek, Mario! You got 20 star points. Huh? Sweet. Rats, you killjoys. 
You stole a person's body. What? He ran away. I mean, wait, just what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? Did we just get shell wrecked? How could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another? Oh, silly Flory. So, who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the shadow sirens you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh... Oh, Mario, thank you for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario, sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. <laughs> Vivian has really joined your party now. This is for you. You got the crystal star. Your crystal star power is now five, and Mario learned the special move art attack. End of chapter. Mario defeated the rogue who stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars, that leaves a mere three more to find, and that means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. Now, Mario heads towards his next adventure with his new friend, Vivian. So what about Beldum and Merlion, and what became of the doppelganger Dupless? Uh, let's see. Uh, nah. Vivian is very, very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? <laughs> well, that's what happened. Are you sure about this? Speak up, X not. Yes, sir. Quite, sir. I poured over our research at the Thousand Year Door, and it appears that the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Belden says. Finally, the treasure of the legend, the ancient tower of the darkness, will soon be ours. Listen and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star search type priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir. Soon, I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. So very soon. A perfect ideal world. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. Gah ha 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 ha. Hey, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be a dancing, perhaps? Or disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important, carrying out order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not want know what to do, really. What do you mean? N no, never mind. Please forget my mustard. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I m m make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. A quiz? That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the question that I am about to ask you. If you answer all five, quit. You may use the communicator as usual. What's with all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven stars? The thousand-year door will open. Correct. Now, the second question. What is the goal of Gordius' leader next? To conquer the world. Correct. Now, the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Heck, is this. Princess Pete, please answer. What is it that waits behind. A 
thousand year old demon soul. Correct. Now the fourth question. What does Sorgori's Richard do with the ancient demon soul? Bring the demon back to life. Correct. Now the fifth question. What is the requ required to seal up the demon again? The crystal sword. Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech, you... Was it okay for you when you tell me such things? Please input the messages you wish to send. Uh, okay, I'm done. Could you send it? There we go. The message has been sent. This is all for now. Please go back to your room. Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. Good night, Princess Peach. No. My lord, I have received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Grit. Let's ride the cheap limp there. Come on now. You there, two tickets, one great and evil thing and one sweet young thing. Good gravy, bothered the evil king and the deluded old hag. Uh, life's too short. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate. Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby. I snuck into the Gritsville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Wait, Lord Bowser, please! Aww. Now my special delivery and deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh. Oh. Ready to roll. Alright then. Here we go. Oh man. Now oh, what? Sweet. Nice. Mm. <laughs> that was terrible. I gotta get in shape. What? Bowser the King Koopa? Really is somebody help?
There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, there, where have you been, you sluggishness? This swimming? Really? Neat. As for me, Gritsfield was fantastic. The fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. And then the hot dogs. Oh my gosh. Yummy. You have fun too, hmm? Lord Bowser, is that a no? It was a terrible, terrible. You hear me? I swallowed the dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. But forget it. Let it's over. Go get me the solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now! I can't believe it was a fake Mario all this time, so we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Nah, no, not really. You're a bigger man than I am, Mario. Such fortuity. You're a true hero. You have brought a shining ray of light to our dim little twi twilight town. Thank you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime you like. Now we go. Oh my goodness, Mario. Would that be an email from Princess Peach? My dear Mario, I finally learned about what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Exonauts plan to revive this thousand-year-old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand-year door. They found this demon spirit, but the only thing they can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal star. Please, Mari, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. An ancient demon spirit? Hmm. Very interesting. Down. Now up we go. Welcome to the home of Merlo, the super magician I foresaw your arrival. So which partner do you want me to power up? Vivian. Shall I power up this partner? Yes. Shazimbi. Shazubi. There we go. 
At the shine spray. Sweet. I'll do this one. Put this crystal star up. There we go, the ruby star. Got a sapphire star now. The location of a star has been recorded on your magical map. We better hurry, don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What? That was written in the princess's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon? And those fiends want to use the power of the crystal star to resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Uh, this is rather long, so you better listen well. All along, you were ready, and you there in front of the TV you listen up to. Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never you mind. Don't worry about it. It's a trivial detail. Just listen. The great cataclysm that I read about in the books may be well referred to this demon. It said that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood on its very area. It also said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster, and that this thing used the power of the crystal star to control all the world. According to the book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes, but only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated, so the heroes used the crystal stars which they have stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this, I gathered that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they are united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they are used for evil or good. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It would be awful if we found them all only to have them stolen for evil purposes. Does anyone think think I might just be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems that the Crystal Star holds the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed will fail, and unfortunately this year might be the thousand year, year bad luck, huh? The fact that these goons want to, the stars may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh, I guess we better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Uh, where do we start? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere in Key Hall Key. Key Hall Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know the usual stuff, vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that? I'm sure this sea salt down by the harbor knows more. You should head over there. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it, and stay tuned.